reason she gave us some ideas about steering the airship. Now, in order for your airship to move in any given direction, you must apply a force in the opposite direction, such as this large, manually driven propeller. Then you will have to know something about the effect of wind and various aspects of navigation. It's very simple. <laughs> well, it all sounded very confusing at first, but Leota had been flying all of her life and knew just what we should do to make the airship work. And so at last the airship flew perfectly. We said goodbye to Leota. Goodbye! <laughs>